Hello? Yeah, okay. okay. So you're ready to begin whenever you when it's nine o'clock. Okay. Good morning. Okay, let's let's get started. It's already nine. Uh, so good morning, everyone. My name is Shailesh Chandra, and I'm a faculty of civil engineering, and I specialize in transportation engineering uh, from Department of Civil Engineering and Computer, uh, Construction Engineering Management from California State University Long Beach. Uh, so today I'll be um, conducting a session on uh, transportation engineering, which is a very important section from a FE exam point of view for civil engineering section. So uh, the, the topics that I'll cover in this session uh, will consist of, um, say, geometric design, of streets and highways, uh, geometric design, of intersections um, questions uh, we'll go over some questions from pavement uh, engineering so payment system design and uh, touch upon uh, content what constitutes traffic safety and what problems are relevant for traffic safety point of view then go over traffic capacity analysis um, and traffic flow theory uh, some applications of uh, traffic control devices and lastly uh, topics related to transportation planning okay so let's uh, maybe look here okay So let's begin with uh, 
some of the simple concepts which all of you might relate to. And I'll begin with uh, one of the examples from transportation planning, which is, uh, say, let's cover a very simple problem before we begin into the content, begin with the content of traffic and uh, other uh, specific uh, uh, tr uh, transportation related, related um, content. So uh, let's say that uh, most of you who came here to the class, you probably drove here. So let's put, uh, you took a personal uh, car, you took a personal car. Some of you might have got here through carpool. Okay. And, and Others might have used, say, uh, some kind of Uber or ride-sharing uh, modes. Okay, so these are some examples of modes. Okay, and there could be others also, you know, so I'm um, just leaving it a, a dot. Um, so uh, in planning, we have a theory called um, a logic model. So, say a new building is constructed, say a Walmart, for example, and you expect how, what traffic uh, would you expect to arrive at Walmart and what changes you would like to do uh, for the traffic, si ad adjacent traffic signals or, you know, if you have to expand the nearby uh, streets to accommodate that increase in traffic for the visitors from Walmart, okay? So, before that is done, you know, there's a planning done to kind of estimate how many car, how many vehicles do you expect to come at the Walmart parking lot, okay? Likewise, since this is a building, this is educational institute, so you came here and there was a estimate that, well, these many students would arrive here, so we need this much of parking spaces. Or we need some space to kind of accommodate some of the cars which visit this complex, this area, this compound, okay? So there's a theory in planning, which is logic, mo logic model. Okay, so what this model is, is, is basically determines the utility of a mode of uh, transport, of transportation, basically. So there's this word called utility that is applied, okay? to kind of determine uh, which modes will be uh, in majority, okay? So you have to provide the space for, say, parking, for example. So, if, for example, if, par if cars are in majority, you'll have to provide sufficient space uh, for parking space to accommodate that number of, number of cars that are going to arrive here and park, okay? Similarly, carpool, ride-sharing, or public transport, you can have all, all sorts of, or somebody can bike here, so they need to have a bike rack or some bike space to, uh, uh, you know, park their vehicle and so on. So there's something called utility. So when you left home, probably you to, you thought about say uh, travel time. So utility, when I say here, it basically pertains to so, uh, travel costs. It could be fuel, it could be gas consumed, it could be energy consumed. Say if you're biking, so, uh, so it could be in terms of time. It can be in terms of money, okay, and and different kinds of uncomfort. So all are part of this, okay. So usually, planners, transportation planners, they're trying to try to quantify the utility value, okay. So sometimes, utility of say car equals say uh, a times uh, X1 plus B times X2 plus C times X3, a kind of equation like this, where A is the coefficient of cost type X1, okay? Similarly, X2 and X3, uh, or a, a, B, and C are basically the costs associated with cost type, say, X2 and B3, X3, uh, respectively. And X1 could be your time or travel time. X2 could be your comfort. 
Okay, and X3 could be your, say, gas or fuel or whatever you are, or maybe the dollar value of traveling itself. Okay. So, plan is to try to quantify this utility, which is utility of car, of using a car, okay, U of car, okay, and there is a, so once they have these coefficients determined, they have, we have a numerical value for U. So for example, if I'm looking at, say car, so utility of car is, comes out to be negative one, utility of, uh, say bike or bicycle cycling comes to negative two, Similarly, utility of uh, carpool comes out to be, say, negative 1.3 and so on. So after obtaining uh, information for these utilities for uh, different modes, based on the equation that you see here, a kind of a linear equation, okay, then, then the task is to determine how many cars would you expect at that facility. Okay, how many bicyclists you would expect at that facility and how many carpool um, how many people would use a carpool and so on. So this equation which, pro which is provided by the no logic model which I just mentioned earlier. Okay. And this equation basically gives you the probability of using a mode which is say, let's call the mode M equals M equals, um, let me just get rid of this, this. M equals mode here, okay, equals exponential to the utility of say mode M over exponential or summation of exponential to the utility of all the modes that you have. Okay, so I'll give you an example. So it becomes, so this is how uh, the probability of using mode m is represented okay so you have all the values that you take from here okay all the utility values and then plug that in to get a um, probability of using a particular mode so let, let's let's look at this example uh, and then we will kind of see uh, how this is this impacts planning so probability of say i'll pick an example from the car of using a car equals utility of u car over, so I'm doing this for uh, these three modes. So I can write utility of car, uh, exponential utility of bicycle, plus exponential utility of carpool. Okay, and this can be further simplified to kind of borrow all the utility values that you have for each of the modes: car, bicycle, and carpool. So e to the power minus one over e to the power uh, minus one plus e to the power utility of bicycle is minus two plus e to the power is negative one point three. Okay. So the number that you get from here is basically the probability. So if you can see here, probability all these numbers, all these values are less than equal to one. Okay. Likewise, you can also get the probability of uh, using a bicycle. Okay probability of using a carpool or a carpooling, okay. So you have obtained all the probabilities, individual probabilities of using a car, a bicycle, or carpool, or it may be transit depending on, you know, how many modes people can use to reach a particular facility, all right. And at the end, you need to determine how many trips do you expect uh, to be uh, happening with a car, bicycle, or carpool. Okay, in that case, you should 